couple of hours today, the nation wondered if President Trump was about to fire Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein. He did not, but the White House says the two men will meet Thursday, which might determine the future of both Rosenstein and the Russia investigation. WBC's John Keller joins us now with some answers to the question, what if that happens? John. Well, Liam, right now, this story is wall-to-wall -wall what ifs, but it's useful for any speculation about where this is headed to be mindful of some well-established historical facts. Rosenstein, Rod Rosenstein's days in office may or may not be numbered, but his fate is really a sideshow to a bigger issue. Will the White House try to shut down or muzzle the Mueller investigation? Keep in mind, it's not a sure bet that we'll ever learn what Mueller's probe has found. A notorious stickler for following procedures, Mueller has allowed negotiations over testimony by Mr. Trump to drag on for months rather than defy Justice Department policy against subpoenaing the president. There is no requirement that his findings be made public or be provided to Congress, only that he report in confidence to his boss, which for now is Rosenstein. There's a lingering stench and we're going to get rid of that too. It's uncertain if Rosenstein's departure would necessarily lead to an effort to fire Mueller, something the president was reportedly talked out of doing last year. But the political toll such a sequence would take is more clear. In a new Fox News poll, a solid majority of voters, 57 percent, approve of Mueller's work and say they want him to take his time and do it right. He shouldn't fire Rosenstein unless you believe Rosenstein's lying. He said he did not do the things alleged. There's a reason why many Trump allies are urging caution. Remember, it wasn't the facts of the Watergate burglary that brought Richard Nixon down. It was the cover-up and obstruction of justice that so eroded his political support. Actual impeachment wasn't even necessary in the end. And keep in mind, impeachment is essentially a political process, not a legal sure. one. People confuse that all the time. And with the midterm elections looming, there's no doubt politics will drive the decision-making about both Rosenstein and Mueller. What do you make of the timing of this meeting? It's Thursday, the same day as the confirmation hearings for Brett Kavanaugh and his accuser, Christine Blasey Ford. I'd be willing to make one of our patented coffee bets, okay. Liam, on the fact that there isn't a single prominent Republican, all right, maybe a couple, but most Republicans in Congress would prefer that this story not be in the headlines between now and midterm election day. It doesn't play well for them. It distracts from their message. Uh, President Trump may have other ideas. We'll see what happens on Thursday. John yeah. Keller, thank you very much. Paula, over to you. John